Psalm 92, 5 says, How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know and the fool cannot understand this. That though the wicked sprout like grass and all evildoers flourish, they are doomed to destruction forever. But you, O Lord, are on high forever. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies shall perish. When I think of Sabbath and what it means to rest and how it's so hard for us to understand rest, I know that God's thoughts are very deep and He knows us so well that He knows that we don't know the difference between working and resting. And we don't know the difference between resting and sleeping and, and working and serving. We don't, we don't know. But when I read that <laughs> the enemies of the Lord shall perish, I know that the enemies that he's talking about are idolizing work and idolizing family and giving our time to things that don't deserve our time. Those are the enemies that take from Sabbath. And I can see, oh, just every week we pray, Lord, help us to let go of all the things that would get in the way of resting because we're so quick to put things between us and Jesus and what would help us to rest, like stressing about money or things that are still on our to-do list that we thought should be done. God knows us so deeply that he asks us to stop and rest. So when I think of what David might have been thinking when he was writing this, I would bet that he was tired, that he was uh, in a season of leading where nobody was following, where he was brokenhearted and needed rest. where he needed God's peace that passes understanding. And I've never really thought about that. <laughs> and we say this psalm with our kids every week, but when you when you really think about it, it's a it's a crying out to the Lord. It's not It wasn't something he memorized and was repeating. He was, he was crying out to the Lord for peace and rest. The righteous flourish like a palm tree. Righteous means doing the right thing, but righteous just means responding to the Lord. And when we respond to stop and rest with, yes, Lord, then it changes everything. It can change our whole life. Man, that just changed that whole thing for me.